Hello and welcome to another episode of WWE 2K23, my GM, my GM, not my rise. What idiot would say, what idiot would say my rise in the beginning of a my GM video? Oh my god, what a do, what a dummy. <laughs> I would never. Anyways, we're picking up right where we left off in the first episode. In the main event of episode two of Raw. This is going to get really confusing when we're talking about episodes here. Main event of episode number two of Monday Night Raw. Raw Women's Champion Rhea Ripley is taking on Asuka in a Falls County Anywhere match. Asuka wants to uh, wants to get back that gold that she lost on the first ever episode of Monday Night Raw. And she looks to do it right now. Was it just a fluke that the Nightmare Rhea Ripley was able to beat the Empress of Tomorrow Asuka? I guess we're about to find out because Asuka is making her way into the reverb room. On Monday Night Raw, ticket prices have shot up to a full $6. Can you believe that? $6 for Raw? Could you imagine paying $10? Oh my god, they're crazy. Asuka making her way to the ring, looking to get back her prize championship that she held for a nice 10, 15 minutes last week. She has no desire to walk out of here without gold around her waist and she doesn't care what she has to do in this Falls Count Anywhere match whether she got to pin Rhea Ripley in the ring pin her outside of the ring pin her in the crowd pin her in the bathroom or the reverb room she doesn't care she's going to do what it takes to get her championship back how do you like that Oscar I just hyped you up really good I'm going to skip your entrance though because it's time for the nightmare it's time for Rhea Ripley to make her entrance with her Raw Women's Championship shined up nice and clean, just the way she wants it, just the way she wants to display it. Look at this lighting. Look at that lighting. Look at that. Look at that smoke. Look at that smoke. We might be in. The, we might be in the reverb room. We didn't spare any expense for Rhea Ripley's entrance. She's got the smoke. She's got the lighting. She's got the licensed music that's probably gonna get. That's probably gonna get me demonetized. And she's got the pyro. My God, look at mommy. She looks wonderful. <laughs> she. She's got a great championship. Anyways, she's making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. The full team might not be here in this GM mode and then on this show, but she's still representing the faction. She's still representing the gang, and she's still looking to walk out as the Raw Women's Champion at the end of the night. Okay, Rhea, that's all I got to hype you up, so I'm just going to skip your interest. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to skip your interest because 2K absolutely nailed it with Rhea Ripley this year. Her entrance, her character model, Everything looks fantastic. It looked great last year, but now it's just like, look at this. Looks amazing. Don't tell me it doesn't, because it does. It's got the disco ball hanging above her head. Hey, you should rip the disco ball down and like throw it at Asuka. You don't have Dom by your side tonight, Rhea, but I'm sure you can handle it. You beat her last week. Did the same thing you did last week, but again this week. Anywhere. A Raw Women's Championship is on the line in the main event of Raw. Rhea Ripley and Asuka. We don't have time for introductions. Let's get right into it right now and see who can walk out. The Raw Women's Champion. We got Tamina, his little sister, as the referee. Here we go. Lock up. And Rhea Ripley immediately takes control of Asuka, throwing her down to the mat. I can display controls. What does that mean? Hide spectator cameras. Spectator cameras. What? Oh, that's a terrible camera angle. Oh, next camera group. Oh, wow. Was this in the last game? Was this in the last game? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wish I would have known about this. It's going to be great. Hmm. Watch me uh, play cameraman here. Boot to the face of Asuka by Rhea Ripley. Let's focus on, let's focus on Asuka now. Can we focus on the ref? No. Yelling at Asuka as she lays on the mat. You're not taking my championship this week. Asuka gets sent into the ropes. Shoulder block, but doesn't doesn't really do much to Asuka. Asuka catches her with the knee. Boot to the back of the head. Asuka comes around. Code breaker. My God, she's not wasting any time attacking the head of Rhea Ripley, who's already in the yellow. Stomps to the back with the arms pulled back. Nothing Rhea can do to stop that. She pops up pretty quick. A couple of kicks from Asuka. Another kick, another kick. Let's do some Kevin Dunn camera changes here. Another kick. Oh, Asuka just tearing up Rhea Ripley with these kicks tonight. She's planning on kicking her feet from under. I don't know. Drops her onto the rope. Rhea Ripley is in agony. She's laying on the mat. Asuka going back to working on the legs, twisting that ankle around. 
the hill hook stretch as Corey Graves called it. I, I, I know my wrestling moves. I'm just like, you know, pretending. I, I, I know, never mind. Another hill hook stretch. Toe jam. Oops. All right, Rhea, if you want to retain this championship, you got to pick it up, girl. Asuka with more kicks. She's almost got Rhea stunned. They haven't even introduced weapons yet. Rhea finally gets control back from Asuka. Another stomp to Asuka's face. Knee to the side of the head. Brutal, nasty. Don't take the time to taunt Asuka. You missed her. Drop kick from Asuka. Oh, already going for the pin. One. Two, three. Whoop. Get some wacky camera in there somewhere. Oh, oh, Rhea goes outside of the ring. Rhea's on the outside. Asuka's following. Now things are going to start to get interesting. Whoop. Why would I want that as my camera? Anymore? Throws Asuka back in the ring. Asuka's got to get to her feet. Rhea Ripley potentially going for a weapon. She's got a kendo stick. Oh, what are you doing, Asuka? Drop kick. I guess it worked out. Going for the pin already. Asuka does one, two, not nah, too soon, too soon. Looks like the kendo stick has rolled out of the ring. Asuka going up to the top. What's she going to do? And a splash misses. Swing and a miss. Sends Asuka back into the ropes outside of the ring once again. Forearm to the back. Stop. Gonna flick some dirt on you like a dog. Slams her face into the floor. That mat might look soft, but I promise you it's not. I'm just going by what I was told by Jim Ross on SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Sends Rhea back to the ring. Tries to, but she doesn't quite go in. Punches to the back. Sends Rhea into the steps. If she can get Rhea Ripley stunned, she can do whatever she wants for the next couple of seconds, which is going to be a big advantage. But Rhea regains control with a clothesline and another clothesline and another third clothesline. Nope. Rip. Rips her back for a drop kick. Oh, she's setting up for something big. Well, don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss it. What's she going for? Going for the submission. Oscar lock. Is that the Oscar lock? Is she going to tap? No, Oscar's not going to tap. Oscar's not going to tap. Oscar gets out of it. Sends Rhea back into the steps. Trips her with a little bit. Trips her up a little bit. Sends Asuka to the side of the ring. Stomp. There we go. That's a better camera shot. Another pin to the outside. One, two. You know it's not enough, but we're up to a two count now, Rhea. If you want to retain, you got to stay on her. Why don't you grab a chair from under the ring? Oh, Asuka's going for it. Asuka's going for a power bomb onto the apron. Kevin Owens style. Oh, my God. The swings Rhea to the side of the ring. That could be it, but I doubt it. One, two, not quite. And Rhea, you got to realize Asuka's still got her resiliency she can use against you. Sends Asuka back into the ring. And Rhea's going for something under the ring. She's got a steel chair. And, ooh, hits her right in the head with the chair. Oh, Asuka drop kicks. Knocks the chair out of Rhea's hands. Oh, what are we doing here? There we go. Knee to Rhea's face. Stomp to Rhea's arm. Elbow drop to the back, the lower back. The most important of the back area. Goes for the spin kick, misses. Rhea with the punch. Rhea with the riptide. Rhea with the riptide. Is she going to do it? Oh, she got it. And Asuka can't use a resiliency. One, two. Wow. I'm actually surprised she kicked out there. Asuka did not have a resiliency. I thought she was going to get that. Crowd chanting for women's wrestling. What you doing, Rhea? Slams her face into the mat. 
Back out to the side. Back outside the ring. What's he growing for now? Another weapon? Grabbing that kendo stick? Yep. Look at that wall of a back. Changed her mind. We don't need that kendo stick while we can just get back in the ring. Okay. Well, that makes sense. She thought about it, though. That was more of a threat rather than a... Uh, Rather than a promise, I guess. Ah, hits Rhea with the kick. Knocks her to the mat. Up, oh, Rhea gets control back. Punch. Rhea, you've got to finish. You can end this right now. Although Asuka can use her resiliency now. Is she going to use it here? Two kick out. She does not use the resiliency. Oh, oh, she uses it. She used the resiliency for a possum pin. One. Two, kick out. Excuse me, not resilient. She used her uh, special meter. Close line to the outside of the ring. Back on the floor. Asuka looking to uh, rip that knee out of socket there. Back to the inside. What she got planned here? Going to grab the steel chair perhaps. Head back out to the ring. Ringside area. And smack Rhea in the back. Oh, my God. Hit her with that brand new weapon taunt. Smack her in the leg. Can't hit her rip tight if her knees don't work, I guess. Going for the pin. One, two, kick out by Rhea Ripley. We're getting closer and closer to that three count every time they go for a pinfall. Asuka's got to finish her now. She could end this because Rhea Ripley does not have resiliency. She has the power of the punch, though, but I believe that is what that is. What's Asuka going to do? Kick to the gut, kick to the side, kick to the side again. And throws Rhea across the ring. And she's setting up for a finish. She's setting up for a finish. Rhea reverses. German suplex by Rhea Ripley to Asuka. Rhea, you've got your signature. You've got two finishers. You've got your payback. And they're going to throw her back to the outside of the ring once again. Anybody could win this now. And you're going to send her back into the ring. Okay. Well, Rhea's going for a weapon. She grabs another chair. The other one's not up to her liking anymore. Hits Asuka on the top of the head. Hits her with that brand new weapon taunt, courtesy of 2K23. Wh whacking away at her back. Sets the chair on top of her. Goes for the pin and gets the one, two kick out my Oscar. Oh, throwing a fit now. You really thought that was going to be it, didn't you, Rhea? Perhaps you should use one of your finishers or a signature. You've got plenty. Throws Asuka back out of the ring again. Grabs the chair. Whoop. There we go. Heads out to Asuka on the outside of the ring with the chair. Smacks her in the back of the head. My God. Breaks the chair. Has to throw it down. That's got to be it. Asuka's done. What? Oh my god, she immediately kicked out. She didn't use her resiliency. What the? Wow, I've actually never seen that happen. Not like this late in the match. What's Oscar, what's Rhea going for? Another kendo stick with the taunt. Is she going to get it or is Asuka going to kick it out of her hand? Asuka with the code breaker. All right, Asuka. You've got your signature. You could finish this also. Either one of you could end this match immediately. Spinning kick to Aria. And hip attack. That's it. That was Asuka's signature. Now she, all she got to do is lock in that Asuka lock or pin Rhea Ripley, and it's over. I'm pretty certain at this point. Is she going to get back the championship? One, two, three. Three, Asuka gets back her Raw Women's Championship from Rhea Ripley in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Wow. So what's worse? Is it, is it worse to only hold the championship for 15 minutes in the first episode of Raw, or is it worse to lose it back to that person in your first defense? Asuka is the now a two-time Raw Women's Champion at the expense of the Nightmare Rhea Ripley.
But before we can move on to the next episode of Raw, we've got to see how the show did overall. If you remember from last episode, up oh, I accidentally skipped them. Well, here's a uh, <laughs> here's WCW by WCW. NXT has got their card set. Carmella and Nikita Lions in the main event. No championship on the line either. Interesting. How did we do? Looks like NXT. Ooh, look at that main event. My God. Asuka and Rhea Ripley tore the house down. Wow, they stole the entire week. Or stole, oh, for us anyways. They stole the show. Bianca Belair and Raquel Rodriguez defeated Alexa Bliss and Gigi Dolan. So they're probably going to be in line for a championship match down the road. Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Ridge Holland even though he had a run-in from Tommaso Ciampa. Gunther, I don't know why I almost called him George. Gunther defeated Wes Lee in a non-title match. We made ourselves a good $52,000 for a total of $150,000 to spend on the next show and a fan change of 47,925 fans. Continue. Let's see how WCW did. 41,000 fan change. Okay, okay, not bad. Not bad. How about NXT? 33,000 fan change. Okay, they're not doing as great. They're, they're probably going to be in the uh, <clears throat> number three spot still, which is great. I uh, have been awarded a double cost of opposing brands matches for the next week's show. We'll save those when we really need them. Right now, we're sitting at 1,096,334 fans. WCW is at 1,086,000. And NXT is at 1,071,000 fans. Maybe you shouldn't have Ronda Rousey as your champion, Tyler. Just saying. Tampa, Florida, two weeks until SummerSlam. Just a note of caution. Now that Rhea Ripley has a stamina level below 40, she is vulnerable of becoming injured. The lower the stamina, the more strenuous the match, the greater the risk becomes. So we'll take that and we'll let Rhea have a night off. We'll probably let Asuka have a night off too. Maybe uh, have her call out Rhea, something like that. Something easy. Thanks for the title rematch. You're welcome, Asuka. You did great. Shinsuke's got something to say. Oh, and your new champion. Once again, good to have the title back in my hands. Thanks again for the rematch, boss. I appreciate it. What's Shinsuke got to say? That loser Tommaso attacked me during last night's fight. Or, sorry, during the last fight. I'm going to stand... Oh, my God. I'm not going to stand for garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with him within the next three weeks. Don't worry, Shinsuke. Y'all are going to have a match at SummerSlam. Sure thing, Shinsuke. Sure thing. Good. You mess with Nakamura, you pay the price. All right. Rest your female tag champions this week. I think we can do that, Paul. We'll see about that, though. We'll see. Two shows until SummerSlam. Well, time to book the next show. Let's see. Uh, our main event for this week. I want to let... Oh, wow. Rhea Ripley's a stamina level two. Wow. Can we... I know. We got the Capital Wrestling Center unlocked. That's, that's nice. How much is that? Unlock 10,000. Oh, you definitely want that, yeah. $20,000 to use it. My God. Okay. Do I have anything where I can send Rhea to... I do not. Okay. I was going to see if I can send Rhea off to the spa. I think if I keep her off the next two shows, she'll be fine going into uh, SummerSlam. Uh, let's go ahead and book the show. First, our main event, of course, Gunter versus Kofi Kingston. Should we do this for the title? I think we'll do it for the title. Gunther is going to accept Kofi's challenge for last week in this main event United States Championship match. Uh, let's see. Asuka, give her a little bit of a night off too because she's at a 21 stamina. Wow. Wow. Should we just completely keep them both off the show? I almost think we should. I think we will. I don't want them getting hurt because I need them at the pay-per-view. However, Liv Morgan can she needs a match with Tamina but Tamina's not happy I don't want her to quit on us in the middle of this rivalry so what we'll do uh, I hate doing this is we'll put Tamina here in a match without Liv Morgan alright let's put her in a match with the jobber let's put her in a match with the jobber let's see if we can grab good old knockoff Sarah Logan here Okay, I wouldn't call that knockoff Sarah Logan. Cause, okay, how about who's cheapest? Who's the cheapest? Is there anybody that's permanent? Is there anybody that's permanent? Let's see. Uh, Jackson Smooth, pretty ruthless. 
Sounds like a great value version of Pretty Reckless. Uh, wow. Cinnamon Garrett is permanent. I don't want you to be permanent, I guess. Uh, Vicky. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Let's just take her. $6,000. You're going to go up against Tamina, and you better lose. I need you to do the job for me. All right, we're going to slow things down right before the main event. We'll have Tamina go against ye old Vicky, Vicky McLeod. I don't know. I'm not good with names. Uh, should we have Liv interfere in this? Should we have Liv interfere in this? I'm scared if I have Liv interfere. It's going to cause Tamina to lose. So I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're going to. Okay. Whoops. All right, so we got Tamina versus Vicky McLeod. McLeod. All right, and one of our mid-card matches. And we will put Bianca up against Alexa Bliss. Cruiser versus Bruiser. No. How about... Ah, oh, she's a specialist. How about Bianca versus Gigi? And now we can do... You know what? I don't like that match. Let's go ahead and book our opening match first. We want Rhea Ripley to stay off the show. But what we can do here, get ourselves a little triple threat. Keep Ciampa and Shinsuke going. I can't put Shinsuke in this match? What the? Wait, can I actually not put Shinsuke in this match? What in the world? Okay, it wasn't letting me at first, but whatever. Uh, and we will put... Oh, you know what? You know what? I think I got this. I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to open up with a fatal four-way to keep Wesley in the picture. Ridge Holland. And... No. Keep Matt Riddle and Ridge Holland in the picture is what I should said. There we go. We got a fatal four-way. Shisuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa, Matt Riddle, and Ridge Holland in the opening match. And for our second mid-card match, I think we should do... Should we do Raquel and Gigi? Mm, or Raquel and Bliss? Let's do Raquel and Bliss. Non-title match. Non, it's not a tag team championship match. So I guess it is a non-title. All right. Self-promo. Liv, I need you to pop yourself up here. Uh, Bianca, I need you to do the same. And how about an advertising promo? Who's got the best promo ability here? Rhea Ripley? No, I can't use you. I can't use you. Braun Strowman is going to do some advertising for us. Build up SummerSlam. And I think that does it. Am I happy with this card? Um, I'm happy with it, but I, I, I don't want to leave so many people off the show. But I also don't want everybody getting injured heading into SummerSlam. That's something I do far too often. Mm, let's do our logistics. We'll come back and look at it. Okay, we already did the logistics. Great. Should we make this a tag match? You know what? I think it would make more sense because I don't want Riddle and anybody or Holland thinking they're in line for a championship match against Nakamura anytime soon. So let's do it like this. Matt Riddle and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Tommaso Ciampa and Ridge Holland. I think that works for our opening match. Oh my god. We need to crown men's tag team champions. I just realized that. Okay, maybe we'll crown men's tag team champions at the pay-per-view. <laughs> I did not even think about that. Which means we need to sign some people that can be tag team champions. Edge, $48,000 for five weeks. Wow. Uh, who could Edge be tag champ with, though? Madcap Moss? No, 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 hell no. Santos Escobar, Donahue, Chad Gable. I feel like Chad Gable would go good with one of the creeds. Well, we'll we'll come back to that. I do need to sign. I need to get some people for a tag team championship. We could do Cruz and Escobar. Can I afford both of them? No, I cannot. I can afford Escobar. 
or sorry, I can four Cruz del Toro. I might have to throw the title on Braun and somebody, I guess. Braun and Wesley. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll come back to that. All right, there's our card. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to win us this week, but I can't. I cannot have Bianca, or sorry, I can't have Asuka and Rhea getting injured this week, so we are not booking them, period. Let's confirm it. Show cost $25,000. Should we do special match? What, what's their stamina at? 45 and 42? Oof. Wow. Now, I, now that makes me think, should I keep Gunther on the card? Shinsuke's stamina is getting pretty low, too. Wow. What's the commissioner goal? I haven't even paid attention to that. What was that? Rest your female tag team champions this week. What are you going to give me if I do? Injury rehab? You know what? I might need that. <laughs> so I think I might do that. Uh, dang, I don't have anybody to put in her place. I don't want to do another squash match. Okay. Okay, we're going to pass on this commissioner goal this week. I normally wouldn't, but I don't want to do two squash matches. And I need to keep Tamina happy. Her morale's low. And if I keep having her lose or do stuff she doesn't like, she's going to quit. And I've got this thing with Liv right now that I want to keep going in the SummerSlam. All right, let's finalize the booking. Confirm. No more thinking about it. It's done. Tampa, Florida, Monday Night Raw. Matt Riddle, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Tommaso Ciampa and Ridge Holland. The WWE Champion is teaming up with Randy Orton's bro, Matt Riddle. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. Wow. Wow. Tommaso Ciampa and Ridge Holland just beat the WWE Champion in Matt Riddle. Wow. Okay. Liv Morgan creates it, uh, does a good promo. Popularity up three. That's good. Good for her. Raquel Rodriguez and one half of the Raw Women's Tag Team Champions, Alexa Bliss. One, two, three. Raquel Rodriguez wins the match. Starts a one-on-one -on -one rivalry between them also. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to... Uh, have an effect on the tag team championship rivalry. Bianca Belair with an okay promo gets popularity of one boost. And Tamina, <laughs> if you don't win this, I can't help you. All right, you're fighting that. One, two, that's three. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me, Tamina? Are you kidding me, Tamina? Oh my god, Tamina. Uh, I started to play the match, but I didn't want to. I felt like that was cheating. Tamina, you're, this is your fault. This is this is your fault. Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman gets us get $9,000, but he loses three popularity. That's not great for him if he's going to be our tag team champion. And now our main event, Gunter versus Kofi Kingston for the United States Championship. We are not going to watch this match. You know what? Should we watch it? Gunter, the United States champion, and Kofi Kingston are our main event for the United States championship. Let's see if Gunter can retain. I meant, I meant to spectate that. Oops. Well, Kofi Kingston is the new United States champion in a great championship match. My bad. Sorry, Gunter. I meant to spectate that for you. Well, let's see what WCW has in store. Logan Paul and Big E, yuck. Confirm that. NXT. Uh, Ali and Zayn in the main event this week. Rhea, R uh, Rhea Ripley. Ronda Rousey and Nikita Lyons in the mid card for the championship. Okay, interesting. Let's see how we fared this week. 2.5 star opener. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that second mid card match. Tamina, that's your fault. You better not come complaining to me, Tamina. I gave you the opportunity. I handed you a win, Tamina. I like I gave it to you. A silver platter. Well, I think we have a better booking pattern than uh, the other shows, but NXT definitely had a better second mid-card match. But uh, let's see who came away with the victory this week. Looks like uh, we got this rivalry here going, level one. Raquel and Bliss are now a level one one-on-one -on -one rivalry. And Gunter loses the championship to Kofi Kingston. Is their rivalry over? 
What the? Wow, Gunther's stamina is low. We're going to have to keep him off TV next week. Fan change plus $35,000 plus $94,000. Nice. WCW's fan change is $42,000. They definitely came out with the victory this week. They definitely are number one this week, I believe. And NXT with 41,000 fan change. Wow. We're still number one. We're still in that number one spot, but WCW is creeping up pretty fast. They're not, they are not far away at all. Oh, boy. One week until SummerSlam. Detroit, Michigan. Triple H, make sure you're matching up superstars who pair well against each other's style of fighting. Vicky versus Tamina was a bit of a mismatch. Remember that Giants pair very well with Cruiserweights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Thanks for the rematch against Ciampa. Yeah, okay. You're welcome, Shinsuke. That didn't go the way it should have, but I appreciate the opportunity. You're welcome. Hey, boss. I've been talking with Lee a lot lately, and he had this great idea we should team up for a tag match. I think we'd actually make an awesome team, tag team. Kofi, you know what? You might be right. We'll just have to see. You might be a dual champion soon, Kofi, because... Can I convince you to take a chance, us, chance on us and book us in a tag match in the next few weeks? Uh, I'm going to say no, Kofi. Because you and Gunther are getting pretty close to being injured and I need to keep you off TV. Promise Liv Morgan a grudge match against Tamina within three weeks. So I need to do that this week, I guess. Are you kidding me, Triple H? I can't do an Iron Man match. Oh my god. Tornado Alley, that's new. One randomly booked tornado tag match will have on your show will receive a higher than normal rating. Real still. I really need some uh, spa cards, guys. I don't need all this nonsense. No power cards played against me. That's good. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can sign some people. Because I don't want to injure the people that I do have by putting them on the show tonight. So, let's see if we can sign... Let's get Seamus. We don't have him too long. We'll, we'll sign him for now. Sign Seamus. Let's get a baby face. Put him against Titus O'Neil. Okay, never mind. Let's get another heel. Let's grab... Let's grab Dakota Kai. Whoa, 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 whoa. 160? Nah, I'm good. Santos Escobar, Caden Carter, Indy Hartwell. Let's grab Indy Hartwell. She's a specialist. $48,000. I think that'll do. So we've got two new superstars on our show tonight. We've got Indy Hartwell debuting, and she's going to be going against... Let's see. She can go against Tamina... No, Tamina's going to lose that. <laughs> All right, Indy. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Let's book for the main event like we always do. Let's book for the main event. Uh, how about Seamus? Oh, there's our tag team right there. Huh? Seamus and Ridge Holland. That could be our tag team right there because this thing with uh, Tommaso is not permanent, so. How about we do that? How about we do that? Let's start a tag team right now. Normal tag team. Seamus and Ridge Holland versus Riddle and Wesley. There's our tag team. We get Wesley on TV. He has not had a lot of time to shine on our show. I think that'll work. Uh, we're not going to do it for the title just yet, though. I don't want that in the main event. I do not want that in the main event. Let's be a mid carton match. Oh. And for our second, or our opening match, Bianca Belair versus... Should we do GG? We did Bliss last week. Or, you know what, let's do another tag match. Bianca Belair and Raquel Rodriguez versus Alexa Bliss and Gigi Dolan. Why not? Let's just do. It. Let's just go for it. Ah, uh, Raquel's stamina is kind of low. Oof, 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 oof. Ah, uh, I need to keep her off TV then. 
Okay. Bianca Belair versus Gigi Dolan this week. Yes. And we'll put them in the mid card there. Call out. Let's keep this rivalry between Shinsuke and Ciampa going. Let's build them up a bit. This keeps Ciampa off TV because his uh, stamina is pretty low. Hopefully to get them to a level 2 rivalry going into SummerSlam. Self promo. Let's see. Indy, go ahead and build yourself up here. Debut. Uh, Kofi. I don't want to put you on TV just yet. Tamina. Ugh. Chance of increasing or lowering superstars' popularity based on her performance. I really need something that's going to boost her morale. Because she's probably going to lose to live at the pay-per-view. <laughs> and if she loses again, she's not going to be happy. She's probably going to be begging for a bonus or something or she's going to leave. I could, I can afford to lose to Mina, but not like <laughs> in one of my few rivalries heading to pay-per-view. So, Tamina, here's your chance to call out Liv Morgan. Mm, that's going to go terrible. That's going to go terrible. Do it, do it the other way again. Liv's going to call out Tamina on that, on that loss from last week. You lost to that jobber, Tamina. She absolutely roasted me in the uh, female My Rise when I lost to SmackDown championship match or the smackdown survivor series match so what's our main event in our opening match going to be if we got to keep all these people off tv and we could put shinsuke in what's it, i think what, what what was his uh no he's doing his thing with champa okay oscar's old. that's good uh How about I don't want to do that again. Gunther's about out. This can be our opening match. We'll swap it around. Kofi Kingston versus uh, which Braun was a hill. Uh, which Braun was a hill now. Is there a hill giant we can sign? Does not look like it. We can sign Chad Gable. No, we can't. We'll have the money. Oh boy. We can sign Red Monsoon. Cash Suplex. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Let's open up with. Let's do a friendly one on one match Kofi Kingston versus Braun Strowman in the opener. But, of course, Gunter is going to interfere on Kofi Kingston, advancing their rivalry. Triple H, I'm not doing an Iron Man match. You can hang that up, like, now. And then for our main event, we got Bliss. Oh, boy. Bliss, we got Asuka. Wow. Wow. Oh boy. I'm almost tempted to put this in the main event now. But there's no rivalry going into it. Uh, shoot. Let's just look at our card here. Let's just book something. Uh, Alright, Raquel. I gotta do you and Bliss. I've got to. I've got to have a full card here. But I don't know if that's what I want in my main event. Oh boy. You know what? Clear the match. I have an idea. Let's do Ridge Holland and Matt Riddle in the main event with a run in from Seamus. Can we do that? I bet Seamus is not going to be available in here now. Nope. That's great. Okay. Turn that off. That's going to be our main event because that's a rivalry. Seamus is going to make his debut against Wesley. And I think that's going to be our card. Gives everybody a little bit of a break. Although I don't think this is going to win us the week here. All right, let's just roll with this. We're probably going to lose this week. But we can still put on a better 
looking show than the, the other shows. All right, confirm booking. I'm not thrilled with the card, but it's going to have to work this week because I cannot have everybody get injured before SummerSlam. Confirm booking. We're not going to watch any match from this. Kofi Kingston versus Braun Strowman. Who's going to win? Braun Strowman wins thanks to Gunther interfering in a disappointing match. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I hope the next two matches are worse. Excellent promo from Shinsuke Nakamura. Grows his rivalry with Tommaso Ciampa to a level two. Sheamus making his debut against Wes Lee in a fantastic match, right? Nope, a disappointing match. <laughs> oh, oh boy. They have a rivalry started now, so that's, that's a good start. Indy Hartwell debuts. Good self-promo. Popularity up to Bianca Belair and one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Women's Tag Team Champions, Gigi Dolan, one-on-one. -on -one. Who's going to walk away with a victory? Gigi Dolan beats Bianca Belair in another disappointing match. Oh, my goodness. Liv Morgan calls out Tamina with a weak promo. Grows their rivalry to a level two. Oh, boy. <laughs> Matt Riddle versus Ridge Holland in our main event. Ridge Holland wins. I actually thought, I did not think he would. And it's a good match. That's a good start. Okay. And it grows the rivalry to a level three. Good. Wow. And WCW immediately whips us with two title matches. One in the opening, one in the ending. Oh, boy. What's NXT going to do? NXT does not have a title match. They have Nikita and Carmella back in the main event. And Cody Rhodes and Finn Balor, the NXT champion in the opener. Wow. Whoops. Cody Rhodes won. Did not mean to do that. Well, that's a, great, that's a bad start for us. Wow, look at our card. We got annihilated this week. Nobody's injured though, right? Like, everybody's good. Okay. Well, we got a new rivalry started between Sheamus and Wesley, so that's, that's something. Be it Bel Air and Dolan, that's something. And Ridge Holland and Matt Riddle at a level three, that's really good. All right, let's uh, let's see what the damage is here. Plus 28,000 fans. That's better than what I thought it would be. I really thought we were actually going to lose fans. We made a good $80,000, so that's, that's a positive. Always got to look at the positives here. All right, let's see what uh, how the other shows did. WCW with a 50,000 fan change. $63,000 ahead. NXT, 46,000 fan change. Wow. Wow. We are now in the number two spot. Eric Bischoff and WCW climbed to number one. Wow, they are they are ahead by a by a bit of a bit of chunk of fans there. We can crawl back at the pay-per-view. We'll have some healed talent, and I think we can make it work. It is SummerSlam week five. Triple H Kingston versus Strowman. It's okay matchup. It's okay to match up rule break, rule breakers against each other. Or to have a contest between fan favorites. Just be aware that your audience will always respond best to rule breakers against fan favorites. Yeah, I know, Paul. Sometimes you have to put on matches that stray away from that formula. But remember that it's a formula for a good reason. What happened to my rematch with Tamina? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Liv. Uh, my bad. Oh, she's her morale's down. That loser Gunther attacked me. During, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we've 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 heard this before, Kofi. I will see to it that you have a match with Gunther. I promise. Good, you mess with Kingston, you pay the price. Triple H wants us to have one steel cage match this week. Uh, we'll see about that, Paul. Oh, it's not. Oh, is it SummerSlam? It is SummerSlam. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we've got to book three mid-card matches, a main event with our half-injured talent. <laughs> Somebody is walking out of SummerSlam injured. But that won't be until next episode of my GM in 2K23 because, well, I'm going to save it for the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching. Tell everybody that you know and their, their families, friends, aunts, cousins to watch this stuff because I need the views and I need the algorithm to pick it up better. Until then, thanks for watching and bye.